it's 2023 and I'm using a flip phone. No, not that one. Mine is even weirder and actually very useful one for the lifestyle that I choose. Hello internet, meet my cat. I'm in my phone. Cat is 22 flip. You are watching. Who are you? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm literally starting with zero subs. So a sub to the channel will be appreciated. It was summer of 69 when I had my good old Sony Ericsson Z530i with me. That was my first personal phone, a flip phone, and I can't express how much I loved it. Well, as I moved on with life, like everyone else, I upgraded to Androids and iPhones. I kept switching between glass slabs from time to time as I felt that those phones are absolutely needed for survival and for entertainment on the go. But with all the magic and productivity happening in my pocket, I fell into the trap of constantly looking for or reaching out to my phone. Anyways, it was late for me but I eventually realized that I am not being much productive when I have a beastly iPhone or Samsung with me in the pocket all the time. The Ultra Pro Max AMOLED screens are perfect for watching reels, shorts and browsing social media. And those apps are meant to be addictive. Just like cigarettes. So I kept looking for a phone that would have some important apps that I need, but it would have a small screen so that I don't feel the urge to watch clips or videos in it. I also wanted to have the keypad back on the phone as the glass slabs we carry every day don't have any personality, apart from the number of lenses they have or a logo. This was the moment when I wished if phone manufacturers would make a modern smartphone but in the body of a retro flip phone. So while looking for a proper smart flip phone, I found out about Cat S22 Flip, a small, thick, chunky boy that brings back the nostalgia of my first flip phone. This bad boy is real good when it comes to having necessary apps while also being dumb enough on the outer shell to not attract any unwanted attention. This cat is a phone under the brand name Caterpillar, which makes heavy machineries and probably transformers. The point is cat makes heavy and rugged industrial machinery and this phone indeed carries the name by how it's built. With military grade drop and shock resistance along with fully waterproof rating makes this a bulky and thick device that I can carry and use it in rain and coincidentally it's been raining for straight 3 days here in Kolkata. The outer and main screens are Gorilla Glass protected and they haven't scratched yet in my 2 weeks of usage. This phone supports all Indian carriers like Airtel, Vodafone and I even heard that Jio is also supported but I can't vouch for that since I don't have a Jio SIM. This phone was actually a T-Mobile exclusive but now these are being sold as unlocked versions across the world. Since I bought this phone and shared my thoughts on the Dumpon subreddit, I can see a rise in the number of posts about this device. A lot of people are posting their EDC pics with this phone as their daily carry. The phone runs on Android 11 Go edition which is a lightweight version of Android 11. But fortunately, all the apps I need work excellently in this phone. Payment apps such as Google Pay and Phone Pay are a must for me on the road as I don't wanna carry cash and changes in my shorts or while walking. And in India, we have UPI aka the QR code scan payment, all of which work fluently in this phone. So that's a big savior. So far the initial experience for these last two weeks have been great with this amazingly weird phone in my pocket, be it the ruggedness and waterproof build of it or the mere chance of progressing a little bit through the detox from smartphones and social media. This phone helped me get back to the two most vital things one should keep a personal phone for, calling and texting. Ok, little bit of playing java games on the go as well. <laughs> Plus it has surprisingly helped me to be confident with QR code payments and not carrying too much in my pocket. Although it's an irony that the phone itself takes the same space as a fat wallet, I am willing to look over that and accept it for all the benefits and peace of mind it gives me. And it helped me explore some hobbies too, like getting back to reading books again or picking up something new, like a harmonica and actually trying to learn it. Nevertheless, I don't know if I will keep this phone for a lifetime or just get bored with it after a month or so. But right now, at this moment, 
I feel very happy that a weird and useful phone like this exists that brings back the nostalgia of old flip phones while supporting various necessary apps. But being absolute unnecessary for scrolling social media or watching tons of videos on its tiny screen. It's helping me pick up hobbies back again, learn new things and also making me feel interested in learning about digital minimalism. I wish to make more videos on this phone and other technologies and tools I like and share those here. So please stay tuned to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. I would very much like to read your comments also so drop them down in the comment section. See you all in the next video.